here today at this amazing festival of, of ideas to really send a message um, to people about the art of living. I think there's a crisis in the art of living. 50% of people get divorced. 60% of people are unhappy in their jobs. We're in a state of change about how we fall in love and make friendships because of online networks and social networking. And we're constantly now thinking, how am I supposed to live? All these things are changing. And this gathering today, I think, is a way of trying to find our way through the labyrinth of possibilities and decisions and problems that we have in everyday life. And particularly me, I want to talk about work and how we can find jobs which are big enough for our spirits. I think what's happened over the last 30 or 40 years is a rising expectation amongst people for jobs which are more than just the salary. That the idea that in work you can find friendship and creativity and meaning and use your talents and use your passions. And it's a little bit the way that we look at finding the right lover now that we try and find a lover who is a friend and someone you can have children with and someone you can grow old with. Now some people think this is a good idea, some people think this is a bad idea. Some people think we're asking too much of work. I think we need to be careful to think that we can find everything in a job, that there's a perfect job waiting for us, floating out there in the air somewhere. If, if only we could find it, it would satisfy all of our needs. I think that's unrealistic. On the other hand, I think we live at a moment in history where we can find job satisfaction, we can find meaning in work like at no time in the past. There's more flexibility around work, there's more possibility of creativity. The trick is just to find the right methods to find work that is actually fulfilling, and that's the, that's the difficulty.